Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around.
gotta be a way to shut that thing down. Down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? 
We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? <laughs> I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. This has to be done. Saren's the enemy, not me. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? Once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Just you do the same. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know something. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. 
I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Yeah, just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. I've been trying to warn the Council about Saren since they started. Then I hope they find the sense to listen, before it's too late. Let me see what you have. What little there is. I've been on this mission far too long. My brain... I am worried that Rex is a We better succeed, human. We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. This isn't right, Shepard. This has to be done. Really? Help me out here, Shepard. The line... I don't care what you're... Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. I've been loyal. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to All know... you need to that's know. That's it. How? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Commander, are you... all right? I'm feeling a hell of a lot better than he is. Uh, yeah, I guess so. What happened? He just proved to us why this place needs to be completely destroyed. Damn, I know he was angry. I just didn't think he'd lose his life over it. Better him than the Commander. Yeah, I suppose. Ready to go when you are, Commander. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Saren. I've never seen a Krogan negotiation end any better. You can't reason with Krogan. We've known that for a thousand years. Did the right thing with Rex. He could have jeopardized the whole mission. I am ready at your word, Commander Shepard. I'm sorry the Krogan couldn't be reasoned with. Shall I arrange for a council sponsored service, or should we dump his body in the swamps? He betrayed me. Leave his body here to rot. I'll have my men drag his corpse to the swamps later, assuming we survive the assault on Saren's base. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. 
We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand, but this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Elenko, you're with the Captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the Ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Staren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again.
Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Thank you. 